Finally this morning, we've often reported on prison overcrowding in this country. But what you may not know is there's a $75 million prison that's costing taxpayers millions more to maintain. And there's not a single inmate in there. NBC's Dan Lothian has the story. In the San Joaquin Valley of Central California, a brand new state-of-the-art prison has toilets, showers, and a sparkling cafeteria. But something is missing. There are no inmates here. It is not being used right now. Of, of course, that is a waste of taxpayers' money. It's a $75 million low and minimum security facility that's supposed to house 2,000 inmates. But the halls are silent because the prison got caught in a debate over who should run it, the federal government or a private contractor. The taxpayers are paying for a Mercedes-style institution that's sitting there in idle, neutral, parked in a garage. In the city of Taft, where oil once pumped life into the community, residents welcomed the new prison as an economic boon. 400 new jobs. But so far, it's been a bust. Taxpayers spend $105,000 a month simply to maintain this empty prison. The total so far, more than a million dollars. But it wasn't supposed to be this way. When construction was finished in April of 96, the federal government was going to run it. But that never happened because five months later, Congress voted to turn Taft into the first privately run federal prison. Private contractors submitted bids, a lengthy process, and the gates are now expected to open in December. By the time the first inmates start arriving here, this prison will have been standing empty for almost two years. All the while, your tax dollars have been paying a small staff to, among other things, keep the sewer system flowing, flushing toilets and running showers. The Federal Bureau of Prisons says maintaining the readiness of Taft is, quote, a prudent use of public funds. But for every day that goes by, taxpayers are sentenced to keep paying the steep bill for prison without prisoners, another fleecing of America. Dan Lothian, NBC News, Taft, California. And that is our report this Friday morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a terrific weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday when we will have special coverage of the handover in Hong Kong. See you then.